بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خير المرسلين محمد النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد begin by praising Allah تبارك وتعالى sending prayers and blessings on the best of creation the best of examples the best of teachers the Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم I remind you all as I remind myself that do not leave this dunya except in a state of submission to Allah Ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala, He mentions in the Quran, Tonight, brothers and sisters, uh, we're here for a purpose. And earlier today, you know, I was sitting with one of my sons and was checking his, uh, the 30th Juz and this, this ayah, uh, he was reciting and practicing For those of you who Allah Ta'ala blessed with the understanding to, to reflect on the ayat of the Qur'an How many of us thought that could we be amongst those people that this ayah is talking about Allah Ta'ala says that التكاثر, That means compiling, amassing, hoarding, gathering the dunya items that you see in the world around you, this is what has distracted man. This, this is what has preoccupied man. Right? His nature has become, he is somebody who likes to go and get materialistic things in the dunya. And he does that when? He does that when? Until he reaches the point that he's going to meet Allah Until he goes to the grave. But notice the Mufassirin, they mention, he says, Zurtumul Muqabr, Ziyara. Ziyara is not the final place. Ziyara is only for a limited time, meaning until you go to the grave. But then your final place would be Jannah or Jahannam. Right? But why am I saying this is that man by nature, he's somebody who's greedy. He's somebody who wants to keep these things for himself until he reaches the grave or he goes, he sees the alamat of the grave. And over and over again, there are so many examples of this. Someone recently, they shared with me a story of a man. He was somebody, uh, he actually, in 2018, about one year ago or so, he had made this video. And the video he made, it said, gifted with cancer. Now most of us, we would think that cancer is not a gift. Who wants to be, who wants that gift? Who wants Allah Ta'ala to give him cancer as a gift? But this man, he made a video and he titled the video, Gifted with Cancer. Why did he make that video called Gifted with Cancer? He said, because when Allah Ta'ala gave me cancer, then I realized that these dunya things mean nothing. All of these things that I bitch, and he was a multi-millionaire, a Muslim, he had many businesses. He had, he had a Ferrari, he had diamond bracelet, he had sunglasses, he had special shoes, designer shoes, all of these things. He said, when Allah Ta'ala gifted me with cancer, it was like this meant nothing to me. This man, he went to Africa and he gave these things away. His glasses, his shoes, his diamond bracelet, all of these things. And he said that this girl one day when I was in Africa, I saw her smile. I did something nice and I saw her smile. He said that smile was more valuable to me than that Ferrari my entire life that I had. Right? Why am I saying this to you brothers and sisters? Because Allah Ta'ala, He says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu anfiqu. Allah Ta'ala says to spend. Mimma razaqanakum. Spend from what He gave you. Min qabri an yattiya yaw. Allah Ta'ala says He wants you to spend. He doesn't just want you to spend when you feel like it. He doesn't just want you to spend when? In five years when you get your degree, or ten years when you become that multi-millionaire, he wants you to spend soon. He wants you to know your time is limited, right? And that's not something a person ever knows, that when will his time come? So he wants you not only to spend, but he wants you to spend in an expedite or immediate fashion. This is why a man, he came in the Sahih of, in Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, the hadith of Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala, he says that a man came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he asks of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Ya Rasulullah, ayyus sadaqah? 
He says, Ya Rasulullah, which sadaqa is the best of sadaqa that a believer can give? That's, you get the most reward for it. What did Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say? The sadaqa anta sadaq wa anta sahihun shahihun. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that you give sadaqa and you are sahih, you are healthy. You haven't been diagnosed with cancer. You haven't been diagnosed with heart failure. Because at that time, you know your time is coming, brothers. Now just give your wealth away because if you don't give it, somebody's going to take it. Your time is up. But Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that the best, the most valuable sadaqah is you give it when you're healthy. There's no diagnosis for you. There's no alamat of death for you. Shahihun, shahihun is that you are stingy, you are miserly, you are thinking that, oh, I still need to buy my home, I still need to make my car payment, I still need to do X, Y, Z, shahihun, right? You're not some, you're somebody who's stingy at that time, what? The Prophet ﷺ said that you fear poverty at that time and you hope for riches and wealth. This is the man, when he gives his sadaqah, his sadaqah is of the greatest reward. The Prophet ﷺ, why does he remind us of this? It's because he makes the connection between sadaqah and timeliness. It's not just about giving in charity, it's doing it at the right time. It's doing it at the right time. I was asked just to speak for a couple of minutes. I know my time is almost up, but at least I want to share with you one or two of the of the virtues uh, or the benefits of giving sadaqa. So I'll just mention one or two quick hadith and then I'll close. And one of the hadith, another hadith of Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala, Imam al-Bukhari rahmatullahi alayhi, he has the tradition where uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he comes, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that man tasaddaqa, that whoever gives sadaqa, right? And he gives sadaqa, what, what does he do with the sadaqa? He gives the sadaqa and he gives it with wealth that is pure. He gives the sadaqa with wealth that is pure. He doesn't give wealth from wealth that he, he, he acquired in a wrong way. That man, when he gives that sadaqa, what happens? Inna Allah Ta'ala yataqabbaluha bi yameenihi that Allah Ta'ala Rasul Sallam describes as if Allah Ta'ala takes that sadaqa with his own right hand. Meaning Allah Ta'ala, he takes that sadaqa that the believer gives with his own right hand. How much sadaqa did he give? How much said it? Was it, was it millions of dollars? Billions of dollars? Uh, Rasul Sallallahu said that man tasaddaqa bi'adli tamra that he gave the equivalent of even what? Like a date. Even a date. So why am I saying this is that all of the brothers here, you should never feel that I have to give, of course we have a goal to meet, but don't think that you cannot give because you're poor. But no matter what you give, Allah Ta'ala, as long as it's from tayyib, as long as it's something that is pure, He will take it with His right hand. Inna Allah He will take it with His right hand. بِيَمِينِهِ ثُمَّ يُرَبِّيهَا And then He will what? He will nurture. He will cause that sadaqah that you gave, even if it was the amount of a date, to grow. He will nurture that. كَمَا أَحَدُهُمْ فَلُوَهُ The same way that one of you, if he was given as a baby horse. The ulama, Ibn Hajar rahimahullah, the scholars, they mentioned that why did Abu Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam give an example of the same way if one of you was to nurture a baby horse? He says, because the Arab, they used to treat their baby horses better than even their own children. The Arab, many of them, why? Because the horse was their life. They could use it for transportation, they could use it for jihad, they could use it for, you know, all means. Whatever means. So the horse, the baby horse was something that was so delicate and so valuable. The Prophet wasallam in this hadith, he says that Allah Ta'ala, that small, even small sadaqah you gave, He will nurture that and allow that to grow. حَتَّى تَكُونَ Until it is like that of a jabal, that of a mountain. So a person, he gives even a chickpea, he gives a date, he gives something small in sadaqah, Allah Ta'ala, you will see that on Yawm Al-Qiyamah like a mountain. A mountain, like the mountains of Salat, the mountains of the Himalayas, the mountains of these different, a mountain like that, one small bit of sadaqah you gave in the path of Allah Ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, this is a tremendous hadith of the Prophet Wasallam, and it reminds us of the virtue of giving, regardless of whether we give big or we give small. There's no reason not to give. And as I said before, timeliness is essential. We're here tonight for a certain purpose, 
We ask Allah Ta'ala, may He make it easy for us to reach our goal. Jazakumullah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah shukran, may Allah reward you the best. And uh, if, without any delay, I would like to uh, request uh, Sheikh Hafiz Faizan, please come to the stage.